Uh, so what's this about finding the striker the whole world knows we need? I know that this can sound crazy, but I can be the striker that you're looking for. I'll give you a few minutes of training tomorrow. No special treatment. You better put me wrong or everyone's going to think I've flipped. It's kind of like a prodigal son story, right? Where that he... is a lyric mm. in... It is, a, and I liked that part of the song, and I was like, yes, this is a like, you know, the premise of the movie, but um, can you talk, talk about the lyrics? Like, how did you, did you write the song, or was it brought to you when you were doing the movie, or what was the process? I didn't write it, but it felt like I did, um, because I, uh, it felt like I did. Um, the director and the, uh, sorry, the, <laughs> the writer, director he wrote it and I was like you wrote this and he was like yeah I wrote it I think like uh, he, he said just a while ago and I was like oh you know it's 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 so sweet and it's so deep and meaningful and I love it and I listened to it over and over and um I it you know it made me tearful <laughs> it really did um, but I, I loved recording it. I recorded it in Atlanta in such a, uh, in such a lovely studio. And, uh, I just, I love it. I love high expectations. And when you get to do that, when you get to sing and act in the same movie, um, does that bring you a lot of joy and Aww. yeah, yes, it, does. it to me, I mean, it's like, like I, I get to do singing and acting. I mean, that's, in in of itself, you know, it's, um, yes, it, it was. Taylor, could you tell us what your take is on the prodigal son theme? <laughs> yeah, the prodigal son. Uh, it's, it's a common theme, right, that we've seen in different films. It has a sort of David versus Goliath feel to it. And with different wrinkles, like he's publicly humiliated by being cut from his dad's team. And his dad is someone who's in the spotlight, very well known. And so the sort of embarrassment that comes with this shame guilt a lot of different things that kind of bog him down and get him into this sort of dark place i think it's a universal theme that a lot of people will connect with and then it's do you have the metal to stand back up and and pursue your dreams it's you fall down seven times you just have to stand up eight right and so uh through sophia's help he uh and encouragement he keeps chasing his dreams and it's nice that it's kind of laid over um a setting like sports where it is a little more clear just how that storyline plays out. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a rebellious sort of character, but he, he goes up against the odds and we see, uh, we see how it turns out. Are you a soccer player? Is this your thing? Or did you grow up playing it? Or, <laughs> or was it a workout yeah, experience? I, yeah, exactly. A little of both. Weirdly, I had done a basketball film a handful of years ago. And so I remember what the process was for that and how much it required. So going into this film, I, for a few months, I just trained with friends who were like college soccer players. And I, pl I played pretty competitively growing up, but I hadn't played in probably 10 years. Because um, once I started acting um, full time there, there wasn't really, I wasn't going out playing soccer much. So it was nice to get back out there and definitely a workout. Because one of the things that you forget on set is that sometimes you're going to do 10, 12 takes of something. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing 12 takes of sprinting up and down the field, it was funny because some of the other soccer players on my team, some of them were like ex pros and they hadn't played too much recently. They very quickly got the hang of when you could relax and when you could turn it on when you're on camera. But they were like, this is insane. We're doing 15 takes of running up and down the field, which was a, it was a learning curve for everybody. Um, so how is it guys for you guys working with Kelsey Grammer? I mean, your character was, you know, there was a lot of tension with you guys in the, in the shots, but, um, Allie, maybe you could talk about both of you talk about how it was for you guys to, to work with him. I had, I think it was one scene. Um, but that scene alone, I just was like, so, um, graced by him and I loved working with him and he was so sweet and I, I had some nerves, um, but he was there to, to be so, um, couldn't have been kinder. And I would just kind of, you know, look at him and um, he would be there and, and give advice and have such wisdom. And he really wanted to make sure I was 
loved on and comfortable and um he's just he's a movie star he's legendary and i told him that and <laughs> um and uh actually there's a cool story there so what was it it was i think a few months before filming i had seen him actually um while i was on a street and i took <laughs> a picture with him like a like a not with him but like he was in the background and I was there I didn't go up to him and yeah. then that um when we were filming the scene I showed him and we recreated that I've got to I gotta put I've got to um post it yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah. put it up um but yeah and he's like why he's like oh look at that and oh he was the sweetest and what about singing in Spanish? Was that a very meaningful oh, thing for you? Oh yeah, it was. And it was something that um, I loved and being able to connect more to, to me or being able to um, dive more into me and into um, Sophia. I mean, that was something that was so, um, it was really touching for me. And I, I loved it. And I think that's, my favorite version. So, um, so either of you, uh, you know, tell me some of the things that you believed, like the movie, you would want audiences to get out of the movie, like kind of the moral elements to it. Uh, I hope, I hope it's just an inspirational story that, uh, I, I was saying this earlier that I think back to films when I was younger, like even, mm -hmm. even silly things. Like I remember watching step up with my brother, the dance movie. And like, I was not a dancer, oh, yeah. I'm still not much of a dancer, but like the movie ends in my little brother, Zach and I, we'd be like, Oh, let's go dance. And we would try little things, you know what I mean? And it's that sort of thing of like, when the movie ends, you hope it like gets someone to go write down their goals for the next week or whatever it is that they're chasing, um, like sparks a little inspiration in them because that's that's the moral of the story and it's just like to chase your dreams and keep going and, and pushing on and never giving up and so i hope it sort of like awakens that within people oh yeah and um i want people to to leave like he said in, inspired um moved um leave with that that sense of you can overcome and and uh there's so much ahead and there's so much for you um i uh that's what i want but but importantly to be uh for people to be inspired and your character really encourages him and kind of is a positive light oh, Allie, I feel like you know i do feel like her you know she's a positive light towards him so oh yeah and that's what i what i am um, what I say about her, you know, she she is up for him and and that light because she knows his potential. She knows um, what he could be, and she really, you know, drives him there and um, just champions him on. And I I just love the light that she is. I'm not here as a coach. I'm here as a father.